if you asked Michael Laws, just quietly, how do you solve crime, particularly youth crime, I would give you a very simple answer. And that is, and it's this simple, here is the Michael Laws solution to solving crime and youth crime in this country. Here it goes. You make sure crime doesn't pay. You make sure that you can detect crime, you can apprehend criminals, you punish them, and you punish them severely. And that old-fashioned approach of detection, apprehension, punishment, means that for an individual, crime doesn't pay. The problem with Commissioner Costa and all the other liberal lefty lovies out there, the Willow Jean Primes and the Tabitha Pauls and that sort of, the sort of Kim Workmans and that sort of group, is that they've never quite worked out that human beings are human beings. So the reason that we do something, so if I want to commit, I'll give you, let's just, let's just go on this one. I'm a young man. I know that if I commit a crime, I will get away with it. Ta-da. Ding. Tick. I know that even if I am apprehended, I will not be punished. Tick. And C, I know that there will be plenty of people, including from a publicly appointed lawyer, uh, paid for by the New Zealand taxpayer, through to politicians, policy makers, court officials, uh, and New Zealand justice, justiciers, d- district court judges, who will actually see me as a bit of a victim. So the fact when I do end up in court, a whole series of people will be making excuses for me. Formally, through a cultural report, where I told them a whole bunch of crap about how dreadful my life was and how I was sexually abused by my uncle, and nobody will ever challenge that, but there's 10, 15% off my sentence straight away, through the whole series of the judge saying, oh, you poor dear, you're 12, 13, 14 years of age, you clearly can't think for yourself. Um, so no one's actually going to test me on my character. So, just, so it, it's pretty simple. If I'm a young person, and I get detected doing my crime, and then I get apprehended, I get arrested, I get thrown in the police cells overnight, and then I get punished, and quite significantly, thanks very much. What's the lesson I learn? Now, the lesson I learn is crime doesn't pay, okay? But no, 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 not if I'm a youth. Not if I'm a youth. Crime does pay. It pays big time, which is the reason why I do it. So, here I go. I steal a car. <clears throat> Chances have been found, according to the latest police statistics, one in ten that I will be apprehended for stealing a car. So, nine times out of ten, if I steal a car, I'll get away with it. Well, what's that, what's that teaching me? I burgle somewhere. I steal something. Again, Nine times out of ten, according to police statistics, I'll get away with it. I won't be apprehended, I won't be detected. The police won't go to the person who's been burgled because they'll just say, oh, this is an insurance job and we're too busy um, eating donuts." All right? Bang. Um, or could you fill it out online, please? And that's the end of it. Okay? Brilliant. So, I, I've, I've got that message. Crime pays. Now, it's also quite exciting. So, oh, I've stolen something. Oh, I've run away from somebody. Oh, they're going to try and catch me. It's an Indian. He's running after me with a you know, ceremonial sword. Ha, <laughs> he can't get me. Get into the car that's been stolen by my mate driveway. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay. So, it's quite exciting. You know, that's a, that's a good thing to do. A bit of entertainment on a Sunday morning, um, about three o'clock in the morning or whatever it might be. Um, so, I can get away with it. It's exciting. Um, I know the police won't be around because the police are never around. They are. They will go around between usually Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, stopping me if I'm drink driving somewhere in a middle class white area. But I don't live in a middle class white area and I don't drink, drive, uh, sorry, I don't drive between Monday 8 and 5, <laughs> Monday to Friday 8 to 5. So, uh, uh, so I won't see them. 
All right. Um, and, and, and then, as I said, uh, if I was under the... And it'd have to be pure, dead, bad luck that I've been detected and apprehended and put in front of a court. I'll just... There's somebody there, a lawyer. Hello, my name's so-and-so. I'm paid for by the New Zealand taxpayer. How can I get you off here? I've lived a terrible life. It's just been traumatic. Yes, I was raised in a gang. My dad, um, you know, sodomised the dog. Oh, I had to have witnessed that. I saw a whole series of drugs taking part. I'm traumatised. Oh, by the way, I've also been colonised. Yeah. So, Dad's like that because he and his ancestors got colonised and it took away their self-respect and dignity, eh? You know? So, it's not really my fault. It's the fault of those white pigs up there. Okay? Right. No, that's good. We'll get that in front of the... And there's a sympathetic district court judge drawing $250,000 a year saying, Oh, you poor dear. Discharge without conviction. Go well, young man. You've got lots of promise. Yes, I have. I can lie bloody well. I should go into something. Um, sorry, that's the way the system works. Now, if the cause of... Uh, Michael Laws's cause of crime, or well, Michael Laws's solution to crime, is really simple. I have enough people out there to detect and take minor crime, antisocial crime, seriously. It's the broken window philosophy. I don't just sit in my uh, ass in a police office getting fat um, and not go around to somebody who's been burgled or had their tools stolen or their car stolen and stuff like that and just say, can you just file a report? What does that tell me if I'm a young person? I can do it again with impunity. I then get punished properly. So if I actually end up having to cut my um, hair and go on some sort of boot camp, oh, God, I hate that, and I'm at the back of Wauru somewhere and somebody's yelling at me at the time, I'm not going to enjoy that. Um, and there are consequences visited upon me. Uh, but there aren't any. So I'll continue to do it. And, and really, when you think about it, just, just, just think about it from the point of view. And the problem with white people, can I say, white middle class people in particular, forget the brown sociologists. The problem with white middle class liberals is that they, A, aren't affected by crime. So as a general rule, it's not their car being stolen and not their house being burgled because brown boys tend to steal from within the neighbourhood or the community and these white people have insulated themselves from the Kandalis, the Karoris, the Mission Bays, the Koimaramas, whatever, a nice leafy suburb, got a private uh, security system in and they're fine, thanks very much. You know, so they don't care. The people who really have crime visit upon them are working class largely and beneficiary classes in poorer neighbourhoods and communities. They face crime on a daily basis and intimidation and they have stuff stolen all the time. It's their car, their Mazda familiar or whatever that ends up in a bank somewhere or being used in a smash and grab, driven through a mall in, um, in Auckland. It's, 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 not, it's not the very nice... Uh, Mercedes uh, tucked away, um, EV tucked away in a, um, a, a very upmarket and um, professionally, well, electronically monitored garage somewhere. No, 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 no. And that's the problem with the left and liberals. They don't understand that crime's exciting, that antisocial activity to a young boy, including me when I was that age, was actually quite fun that getting away with it was really cool. And they don't understand that I'll continue to do it because it continues to be fun. And it continue, I continue to get away with it and I'm actually fiscally rewarded. How hard is that to understand? There you are, I've summed it up for you. Now go and put a policy in place that solves crime in this country. It's not hard. And the basic principle is make crime not pay. End of story.